we're about to go underground into the tunnels. We'll see the cages that the hostages will hold in. In another compound, we'll see uh, in the places where the, the leaders of the uh, terrorist organization Hamas conducting their, their command and control uh, activities. We've just entered the compound of the guards. As we go further in, you can see there more and more the guard compound as we go and gets bigger and bigger. Living here underground, one has to have the, the basic facilities and even more. Look around the other side, you can see a dining room. This is where they sat down to eat, and this is where they made their food. You can see the magnitude of the compound and how big it is. You can see the different uh, tiles, and even so, uh, the kitchen, like we saw earlier on, but bigger. But what you can see is a bedroom. Do look at the magnitude of this room. It's a big room. The many beds in this area, which you can see here, it's got its uh, sockets for uh, electricity. Electricity sockets, you can see... Um, throughout the whole compound here. You can see for music, just living. This is, a, this is a compound where they used to sleep in it. And as we go here, you can see the maintenance tunnel. This, this will be a maintenance tunnel that will go all the way behind the compound, which will give it uh, either air or the ability to either maneuver through it or just to enable the different uh, toilets and bathrooms and stuff like that to, to have the fumes go out. This compound over here is where the kidnapped were held. Just imagine where, where they were held. And we can see this looks like the compound is more, a more new compound. It means they were on the run, they had to create new compounds for holding the kidnapped. Unbelievable, you can see the, the thought that was put in in how you hold the kidnapped. If you put even a slot to pass in food or to pass in anything, it's so so skew from their point of view. So as we go through here, this area, we have another tunnel that goes through and goes all the way down to the bathroom. So just imagine a kidnap who has to go through here, has to go to the toilet. All right, what we've reached here at the moment uh, in this compound over here, that's a compound where their leaders had spent time as well. And you have to understand what you see are grenades, uh, mortars, IEDs, RPG, when, what we can understand here is the connection between the underworld and the upper world. So what they do, they'll gather up in the underground tunnels, gather up, take the uh, munition with them, and attack our forces overground. It's here as well, we were encountered the uh, enemy underground in these tunnels as well. We overcome them, and what I want them to understand, and everybody to understand, is that the maneuver underground the advancement of the maneuver underground throughout the time that we are here has enhanced tremendously. And we are moving very quickly and we're going to get them. One meter after another, one maze after another, one tunnel after another. But in the end of the day, we're going to reach them and we're going to bring them in.